What is going on, peeps? Uh oh. Is this working? I hope so. Okay. So we are today thinking about showing how to count coins in different ways or showing the same amount of money two ways. Like if I have 100 cents or $1, I could show that with four quarters or I could show that with 10 dimes, right? There's different combinations to show the same amount of money, okay? So let's look at this. It says use coins to show 27 cents, write the amount. And you know what I'm gonna actually do today? Is I am going to make a line in the middle, oh boy, okay? That way I'm gonna show 27 cents two ways because that's what we're working on today and we're gonna just practice it already, okay? Um, you know what I could do? I could take, one way to do it is take the largest amount without going over, right? So if I have a quarter, oh snap. I got this fancy stylusy pen and I'm using it for the first time on this one. because so I thought it would be easier for me to write, but turns out I gotta practice better. Okay, so let's get this going. I know if I have one quarter, that's 25, right? So now all I need is two more cents to get to 27. So I'm gonna do that. So then we have, for counting underneath like we did yesterday or the day before or the other days, this is giving me some tricky times, man. Tricky, tricky times. All right, so that would be 27. This would be, whoops, no it wouldn't. Oh my gosh. Drink more coffee, Miss Wolf. You'll get it better next time. So this would be 26 if I'm counting by ones. There's no coin that counts by twos. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. This is 27. So this collection of coins makes 27, C with a line through it, 27 cents. Booyah! All right, now I'm gonna change my color and we're gonna do it another way. I really like purple. You know that. Okay. Now another way I could do it is use a coin that I like to count by without going over the number 27. We do not want to go over we want that number exactly we want 27 okay so another way i'm going to do that is i feel like starting with another high coin that i didn't use before i'm going to start with another coin i didn't use i'm going to start with a dime i know this is worth 10. another one would be 20. and then if i have a nickel i know nickels are worth five 25 and then we got 26, 27. So now let me double check to make sure I also have 27 cents by counting underneath my coins. So I know I have a dime, we just said that was 10, okay? So we got 10. Oh, you little rascal. This is 20. Come on, toots. Now we have a nickel, which is worth five. 20 plus five, I know, makes 25. Boom. Now we have those two pennies underneath, and we have to switch over my thinking and start counting by ones, okay? So 25, counting by ones, makes 26, 27. So, nailed that. I made 27 cents two ways. Now watch, I'm gonna get out the gobbledygook so you can see that, look at, I have two collections of coins. They still make the same number. We still have the same one at the end. So sometimes just because I have a larger number of coins does not always mean I have more money than the other person. And this is proof, this will show you. Like I'm looking at this right now and 
Just because I have three coins over here doesn't mean I have any less amount of change than the person next to me with five coins. You have to count the values of the coins to understand who has more money, okay? And we're gonna be talking about that later. All right. So here are two ways to show 30 cents. We got Matthew who found out one way and we have Alicia who did it another way. So what he did was he used dimes. Okay, so he has 10, 20, and then he went to nickels. So he has 20 cents, 25, 30. So he has 30 cents that way. Notice what Alicia did. She did my first strategy from the other 27 cents. She used my first way. She started, she knew in her head, oh, a quarter is worth 25, right? If I have two quarters, that's 50 cents. So that's too high, but I could use one quarter and I know I have 25. So if I need to get to 30, she thought in her head, she said, mm, you know what? A nickel is worth five. I only need five more to get to 30. So there's that nickel, 25, 25 plus five more made 30. Okay. So now it says here on the bottom, look at Matthew's way. Okay, let's get our eyeball there. Boom, Matthew's way right here. Da -da There's Matthew's way. If you trade two dimes and one nickel for mm, the coins will show Alicia's way. So look at what they're doing here, you guys. Holy moly. If you trade two dimes and a nickel, that's what they highlighted right there, right? Two dimes and one nickel, 10, 20, 25. Oh, snap, crackle pop. I'm very amateurish today, you guys. So those coins make 25 cents. And then they have the nickel over here that's worth five cents. So that looks like Alicia's way, right? Are they wrong? Is anyone wrong? No. They are just showing you that Alicia used less coins than Matthew to get her answer, okay? She used less coins. Matthew didn't, but they still got their answer. That's what they're trying to show you right now. So if we move that, so if you trade two dimes and one nickel for a quarter, the coins will show Alicia's way. So they still both got their answers, but they just did different ways and that's cool. All right, so now we need to show 61 cents two ways, okay? So remember what Miss Wolf said, my strategy here. Highest coin, highest value. Come on, toots. All right, 25 cents. Did I go over 61 cents? No, nope, I can still go. What if I do, oh snap. You guys feel like you're in the classroom, right? Look at these videos. I still mess up. I still haven't learned my lesson. So now if I have two quarters, remember on day one, 7.2, I said, you just have to, we have to start remembering how many quarters make what amount, right? Two quarters, we just have to remember makes 50. Did I go over my 61 cent limit? Nope, I have 50 cents. I still need more. Okay, now look at this. If I added another quarter, and we adults have to just remember three quarters makes 75. I have gone over, that is not 61. And oh, er, so let's erase that and get that out of here. I have to use a different coin amount, okay? I'm gonna use the next highest. Oh my goodness, so I have 50 cents plus 10 more. I know if I'm adding by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10 more makes 60. Now I have 60 and I need 61 cents, so I just need that penny over there, give me a penny. 
Boom. I have 61. Oh my gosh, that is sloppy as all get out, you guys. 61. So my total there is 61 cents. Oh my stars. The stylus thing that is brand new is supposedly really good. I just have to practice, I guess. There we go. We got one way. Now we have to show, if you remember, we have to show two ways to get that amount. Okay, so we did one and we started with our largest coins and we kept adding without going over the number 61. Okay. Another way is I could I could go by tens. I like counting by tens. Tens are fun. There's millions of ways to figure this out and do combinations. You just have to make sure you're counting the coins and making sure you're adding them up correctly. But there's so many different possibilities. I bet some of you have ideas in your head already. You know exactly what you're going to do to make it. Um, here we go. Get this going. I'm going to start counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now I need one penny, right? Whoa, ho, hey, hi. 61. Mm, 61. 61. So look at that, we're gonna count and double check our work. Good mathematicians always double check. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61. We made 61 cents here. So there we go, two ways we did it, right? Now let's try another way, 36 cents, okay? 36. Well, if I start with my largest coin like I like to, 25. Remember if I do two quarters, that's 50. That's over my 36 amount. So 25, can't use another quarter. I have to use other change, right? 25, let me count underneath so we don't get confused. 25. Now I could do many things here. I could start counting by fives, but you know what? If I add a 10, oh, how many times does it take Miss Wolf to learn her lesson? If I add a 10, it's 25 plus 10 more, I know it makes 35. So then all I really need is this penny and I just made 36 cents, 36 with a C and a line through it. Booyah, nailed it. Now we need to find another way. Now, what you could also do is, wow, we could do, we could count by all nickels for a while and then add the penny when we're ready. We could add by tens and then add a nickel and a penny. We could add a quarter. Oh, here we go again. We could add a quarter, okay. Look at my iPad screen. If you look on the top, that totally is not the correct time. I wonder why it did that. Maybe I'm in a different house. I don't even know. It doesn't recognize me. All right. So we could do it this way. 25. 30. 35. 36. Now we always double check to count to make sure we didn't mess up. So we got 25, 30, 35, plus one more makes 36. Oh my gosh, we made it again. So this is, I know is one way to do it. This I know is one way to do it. I just made it two ways. But guess what? There's so many ways to make the same amount. So many ways. Like if I wanted, I could do tens, right? One way to do it is 10, 20, 30, 35, 36. That would be one way to do it too. That also would be a third way to do it, right? Or you could use all nickels until you get there. You could use all pennies. That would take you a while, but it would still give you the same amount. And that's what I want you to realize today, that there are so many ways to make the same number. I also want you to see that you can have the same number, you can have the same amount of change 
as someone next to you who doesn't have the same amount of coins. Look at, we have, oh, let's use a fun pen today. Look at, we, this person has one, two, three coins. This person has one, two, three, four coins. That doesn't always mean the second way is a larger amount of money. It doesn't always mean that. They have the same amount of money. One person has more coins than the other. So no worries. I want you to just remember that for me, okay? Da, 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 da. Oh, here's that one page that tells me it doesn't work, right? Mm-hmm. Chris, okay, let's see what this is. Okay, let's make 55 cents. Um, if it just gives you this without the coins, right? Like on your go math today on 7.4, then all you really have to do is use this. Watch, we're making 55 cents two ways, okay? So let me make a line down the middle. So we're gonna do one way here, one way here, okay? Remember how I showed you, we write the amount and circle it. So if I wanna make 55 cents, I know I can use one quarter, that's 25. If I have two quarters, I know in my brain, because I remember Miss Wolf telling me I have to have that memorized, two quarters makes 50 cents. Okay, so 50 cents plus five more cents plus a nickel makes 55 cents. All right, I know another way I could do this. I could do, oops, sorry you guys. Now, I know that's 55 and you can always double check and write underneath, right? So we know that two quarters makes 50 cents plus a nickel makes 55. So now I just proved that I made 55 cents there, okay? Now there's another way, we can do this other ways, right? We can do more than one way. So what we can also do is I can use, I could use dimes, I could use nickels. I could do, uh, I could do a quarter again. And if Miss Will says another quarter makes 50, I could use all pennies at the end, right? So if I know that two quarters makes 50 cents, I could do 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, right? I could do it that way. 